In this video, I'll be teaching um, how to solve that very question there. So the first we're going to do is to actually decompose this into its partial fraction components. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say this is 5s squared minus 4s minus 7 divided by s minus 3 bracket bracket s squared plus 4. So what would this be equal to? Since I have two denominators here, I'm going to be having uh, the first one over s minus 3 plus the second one over s squared plus 4. And that's because this guy is not factorizable. So what would then be the top? This is going to be A. This guy is going to be what? BS plus C. Because the bottom is not factorizable. So I'm going to be having this. Remember, you can watch my videos on partial fraction. Now, what am I going to do? Let me find the value for A first of all. I want to get what A is going to be. And I can do that using the cover up rule. So A would then be equal to, what's at the bottom of A? S minus 3. So I'm going to say S minus 3 should be equal to 0. It therefore means S is what? 3. Because if minus 3 goes, we're going to have 3. So anywhere I see S on this other side, I'm going to be putting 3. So what is 3 squared? 3 squared is what? 9. 9 times 5 is what? 45 minus 4. This is 3 because we said S is 3. So 4 times 3 should be giving me 12 then minus 7 divided by, this is s minus 3. I can't be putting this 3 here. That's why it's called the cover up rule. I'm going to cover up this s minus 3. So I'll be working with s squared plus 4. So what is our s? 3. So what am I going to be having? I'm going to be having 9 plus 4. So the next thing is 45 minus 12 should be giving me 33. 33 minus this should be giving me 26. This should be 26 divided by what? 13. So this will now be equal to what? 2. I think that should be correct. 2. The next thing is I have to find my B and what? C. I have to be finding B and what? C. But the problem here is this. To get my B and C, you cannot use the cover up rule anymore because you can't make this equal to 0 and get a value for what? S. So it's not really possible for us to do that. So look at this. What would I need to do? This numerator here, 5s squared minus 4s minus 7, is going to be equal to a times this. So we have a bracket s squared plus 4, then plus b times this. So this is bs plus c bracket bracket s minus 3. So that's what I'm going to be having. Right now, what do I need to do? For my decision, let me find my B first of all. So I want to equate all the S squared terms. Equating all the S squared terms. Equating. Equating. Sorry, English. Equating S squares. What's the equivalent of S squared here? 5. So this is 5. Equal to. What would the equivalent of S squared this part? If you open this bracket, a times s squared is going to give you a. So we have a at this part with s squared plus what will be with s squared on this other side? It's going to be what? b. Because if you open this bracket, bs times s will give you what? bs squared. So that's why b is going to be here. Remember, there's only for you to be putting the s squared. So that means 5 is equal a plus b. So 5 would then become a is what? a is 2. So this is 2 plus b. 2 plus what will give you 5? 3. So it means your b is equal to what? 3. So I've got now what? I've got now b. Now what's the next thing? I want to get my constant c, this very c guy. So see what I'll do. I'm going to be equating the constants. I'm going to be equating the constants. So what is the constant on this side? Minus 7 is the constant on this side. So we have minus 7 equal to what's the constant when you multiply this place? a times 4a will give you what? Sorry, a times 4 will give you 4a. Then on this side, what will be the constant? c times minus 3 will give you what? Minus 3c. So that means we have, equit we have equated rather all the constants here. So this minus 7 equal 4 bracket a is what? a is 2. Then minus 3c. So this minus 7 equal 4 times 2 will give us 8 minus 3c. 
So right now, I can wipe this place off. So this is minus 7. This 8 can come over. It becomes minus 8 equal to minus 3c. Minus 7 minus 8 is minus 15 equal minus 3c. Now, can I divide both sides by minus 3? Yes. So my c is what? c is equal to what? 5. So I've gotten my a, b, and c. Right now, let us solve this very thing. Remember that we're asked to find the inverse Laplace of everything here. And we have solved for it, we've reduced it into this very expression. So the inverse Laplace of, what would I now be having? a over s minus 3. So what is your a? a is 2. So this is 2 over s minus 3 plus b s plus c. So what's our b? b is equal to 3. So this is 3s plus c is what? 5. Then divided by what's the denominator here? s squared plus 4. Remember that everything here we said is equal to what? What was in the bracket before? So it's still the same thing. I've not really changed anything. So let us continue. Now looking at this very guy, this can become the inverse Laplace of 2 over s minus 3. We can easily um, make do with this very expression. But this one has a little bit of problem. We have 3s plus c. And there is really no variable Laplace inverse for this expression. But we can split this expression here. We can say this is plus 3s all over s squared plus 4, then plus 5 over s squared plus 4. So like this is now better. It's better like this. Okay, so right now what would I do next? I'm going to distribute the inverse Laplace across to all expressions there. So the inverse Laplace of, we're going to have 2 over s minus 3, this is the first guy, plus the inverse Laplace of, second guy we have is 3s over s squared plus 4. The last guy is the inverse Laplace of 5 over s squared plus 4. So this is what we have. Now, this very part, this first guy is not really our problem. It has never been our issue. It's this s squared guy that we always have problems with because expressing their inverse Laplace, you need to do a little bit of, you know, what I call it um, manipulation. Okay, what is the inverse Laplace of 2 over s minus 3? First of all, this 2 here is a what? This 2 here is a constant. So this is 2. S minus 3 at the denominator signifies to have an exponential. So this is minus 3 means I'm going to be having 3c. So that means the inverse Laplace of 2 over S minus 3 is what? 2 exponential 3c. So that's what we have. Then plus this next guy. Now look at this very expression. S at the numerator. When S at the numerator, what does that tell you? That tells you we have cos or cos. But how do we know if it's cos or cos? When it is plus, it becomes cos. So right now, this 3 is a constant. So this is 3 cos. What would I have here? Would I say 4t or 2t? Please remember that this bottom here, this 4 here, is 2 squared. So this is what? 2t. You're going to be having 2t at that place. Then plus this guy. This our almighty guy that we're going to be having. Now see, look at this. Take this one carefully. If you have a constant at the top with s squared plus 4 at the denominator, this is actually sine. Now, this sine indicates that, see, the inverse Laplace of something like this, let me say um, 2 over s squared plus 2 squared is equal to what? Sine 2t. This is what we're going to be having. When you have 2 here, then this is 2 squared. So right now, since I have 4 here, which means 2 squared. I'm supposed to also have 2 at the, at the top. But so what I'm going to do here, there's no 2 right now. There's no 2 right now. So, so what I'm going to do. I'm going to write my 5 first of all. So this is 5. Now we agree that this we must have a 2 here. So do you agree that if I say times 2 here, I would have to also divide by 2 so that my expression will still remain the same because I have not changed anything. If I say 2 over 2 here, it has cancelled themselves. So what I just did was to introduce these two because I needed it to find what? The inverse Laplace. So since we have 2 here, and we've brought out this 5, but we've not brought out this very, so this will become over what? 2. 
then I can say sine what to t. So this will be the final answer to the question. Well, I think we're going to be doing more of this type of expression so that you would understand it properly. So this is the final answer to the question. Thank you very much for watching this video.